Within the user interface of Media Central UX, you have elements that make up what you see, really the application. The first thing that we'll talk about is the pane. A pane is simply a portion of the interface that houses certain features. It's a window. You can see one here and here. You can resize panes and change their locations. You have access to an organizational tool of panes in the form of layouts. To put it really simply, layouts in Media Central are preset pane formations you can access from the drop-down menu here up on the right. As you can see, layouts are designed to accommodate certain jobs. Layouts for a rundown or story, they're most likely to be useful to a journalist. Let's double click on a layout to open it. I'll open up the cut layout. The layout for Media Central will change to accommodate the cut layout. This means the placements of the panes, their sizes, as well as which panes are open, are all moving to specific locations for maximum effectiveness in a situation where you need to cut. All the most useful panes for editing, like the sequence, media, and audio panes, immediately become the main focus of the interface. These layouts are all installed as part of the Media Central UX web application. The size and location of the panes are set by default in each layout, but you can customize which panes you want to see. To do that, click on the panes in the upper left-hand corner of the interface. You'll see a drop-down menu where you can select different panes to bring up. You can resize their windows in the interface by clicking and dragging on the edges. For more information on panes, check out the Media Central user guide available on the Knowledge Base. For more how-to videos, go to avid.com forward slash how-to.